a part of the role of a coach working his team and his fan base through hard times and they've certainly had those here the last couple of months in Lincoln earlier this week legendary Huskers offensive line coach Mill Teneper passed away after a battle with leukemia a huge part of the Huskers historic success it further saddened a fan base that has dealt with an unimaginable tragedy this past summer Sam Foltz was Nebraska to the core. He was a small town kid. He grew up on a farm, dreaming of playing for the Huskers. Incredible work ethic. Walked on here at Nebraska, of course, an incredible walk-on tradition. And he wheeled himself into becoming a great player. And all that while integrating himself into the community, very active in terms of charity work here in Nebraska. Sam Foltz passed away tragically in a car accident in July, along with former Michigan State punter Mike Sadler. He was the reigning Big Ten punter of the year, was poised for a huge senior season here with the Huskers. Though he may be gone, he is still very much a part of this Nebraska program. We are probably reminded many times a day of Sam Fultz. He's present a lot, um, you know, whether you know, people see it or not. When we found out about Sam, it was a rainy day. Um, you know, he, he got into a car accident on a, on a rainy day um, for his funeral. Went to his funeral, it was raining. And then the first game, it rained. Um, you know, that we looked at that as, you know, Sam telling us that he was going to be with us no matter what. He's always here. We know that. We, we know that. He's, he's looking down at us all the time. And, um, it was obviously terrible, terrible, terrible to, to lose a guy like Sam, and uh, we all loved him, especially the senior guys who kind of went through the program with him. Um, to lose a guy like that it was, it was hard. It was hard on all of us. When we had that first team meeting uh, the night uh, that we learned about Sam's death, uh, I've never been in a sadder room. It crushed a lot of us. Um, Tommy, uh, real close with him, it just it crushed him. You know, Sam was more than just a teammate for me. Sam was, you know, one of my closest friends. Sam was a guy I always fished with, a guy I always hunt with, a guy I would go on road trips with. Um, you know, we went to, you know, Oklahoma. We went to Minnesota this past summer, did some hawk hunting, and we did some paddle fishing. and. Um, you know, those was one of the great experiences I had with him. You know, just being back there in the backseat with Sam and just, you know, having conversations, just talking about the season. Sam was every guy's guy. Uh, loved practice, loved competing, loved playing the game, loved what he did, uh, but also was one of the best workout guys we had, one of the best team guys we had, one of the best weight room guys we had. Downstairs in our weight room are where he lifted his platform is blocked off. We don't let anyone lift on there, and he got his um, cleats kind of hanging over it. And on game days, they, they still put on his pads and uh, everything like like he's still here because we, we we definitely still feel his presence. He's still here with us. This is the area in the weight room that Jordan Westerkamp referred to, the bench lying idle. You see Fultz's cleats hanging in memory. A touching tribute to a tireless worker.